previously on Heads Up. I have no idea what to do with this hand. I'm all in on the dark. I didn't have to do that. I'm gonna look like an idiot for this. Push me around easily. Take it as a sign of respect. Come on, Vanessa, stop. He's moving on. Ready to match. The battle gun. That's right, baby. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by GoDaddy.com. The field is loaded here in the clubs and spades side of the bracket. Now each player remaining is just four wins from the title. Let's take a look at the matchups. John Jawanda and Bertrand Grospelier, Scotty Wynn, and the artist formerly known as Daniel Negreanu. <laughs> Scotty, I, I mean, Daniel's obviously impersonating you. Does this bother you at all? You know, he's the best, baby. You know, I, I, I love the guy, you know? <laughs> you know, baby, when, when you play with royalty, baby, no matter. You have to show respect, baby. <laughs> All right, well, you know, they do say imitation's the best form of flattery. But you know, one, one thing I, I want to let all you guys to know. Tonight, only one Scottish. Scotty Wynn gonna win for sure. Yeah, win, win, which, baby. Wait, wait. <laughs> which one's the real Scotty Wynn? <laughs> no matter, baby, we gonna win. All right. <laughs> Good luck, both That's of my you. boy. <laughs> <laughs> And next up, we have Vanessa Russo and 2007 Heads Up champ Paul Wasica. And at our feature table, Phil Helmuth is going up against Tom Dwan. Now, Phil, how does this compare to the other two matches you've had already? I mean, this is a pretty tough match. You know, uh, this, uh, this guy, this young gentleman over here, Durr, has won millions and millions of dollars on the internet, and he has just an incredible amount of talent. So I think I have my hands full. Are you looking for a little revenge, considering what happened between you two last year? Well, if he wants to, you know, I mean, if 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 if, I, if he spots me aces, I'll put it all in. I'll be happy again. Okay. All right, Tom. Another day in the office for you? Well, last time I played Phil, I got it in as a 4-1 to one underdog, so I'm going to try to do a little better this time. Okay. That's my plan. All right. Well, it seems like your voice is a little out. We'll let the cards do the talking. Good luck, gentlemen. Let's get the cards in the air. Hummer alongside Ali Najad for the second half of the round of 16. Our focus now shifts to the clubs and spades brackets, where four matchups are taking place simultaneously. We now head down to our much anticipated feature matchup. Phil Helmuth on the left taking on Tom Durduan. So right now you're playing Patrick? And then Hopefully, Ivy. I mean, <clears throat> we should be able to finish it in a few weeks if there's no games, but oh. we've had different schedules and there's been so many games, so. I think I was next to mine. I'm not sure, but I think. I just sit there and post and see who comes. Get the feeling Tom had a late night there. His voice is a little <laughs> hoarse, huh? 6-4 for Phil, suited, he calls. What these two guys were just talking about, Craig, Tom is so confident in his online heads up game that he's put up one and a half million to Patrick Antonius' half a million that he can beat him for at least $1 over the course of 50,000 hands on the internet. Durr with ace-10, he raises to 3,800. Phil calls. Flush and inside straight draw for Phil on the flop. 7,600 in the pot. Tom's out of position, but he's got control after raising pre-flop. And here's the continuation bet. Durr bets 5,800. And Phil calls. That's the kind of thing you don't like seeing when you've got a naked ace high on a board like this. Nine of hearts on the turn. Dwan's ace still best. He checks. Here's where position plays such an important part in poker, Craig. Phil has the advantage of knowing that Tom did not want to put a bet in, and he can try to pick this pot up with this 8,000 on the turn. And he does it with six high, no less. What do you think we can expect from Phil this time around? Well, Phil's been waiting a good long year for his shot at revenge against Tom Dewan. Typically, he likes to trap his opponents. I think he's probably going to approach the match in that fashion. The only thing he had to say is that he knows he has his work cut out for him here. Now, Tom Dwan may not be a household name, but in the poker world, he is a force to be reckoned with. 
Is he up to the challenge today? I think so, Craig. He looks really loose and relaxed, and quite frankly, these are small stakes <laughs> for him. This kid will win or lose a million dollars in a day online and not think twice about it. When I spoke to Tom, he says he's willing to play small ball, keep the pot small pre-flop, but once those three cards hit the felt in the middle, he wants to pump it up, take it to Phil, and if he can do that, I think it's not going to be luck that gets Tom Dewan through this year. <laughs> you can do the Scotty laugh, too. Somebody get that man a lozenge. It's pretty funny, though. He was rattled by the hand and wasn't speaking in Scotty anymore. Went back to Daniel. It did shut, he did shut up a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Durr with queen eight oh. suited. He limps in, blinds at eight and 1,600. Phil with pocket queens. Raise it. He raises to 4,100. Each player starts with 80,000 in chips in the round of 16. Dirk calls. He's in terrible shape against two queens. Ace high flop. That's the kind of flop that may save Tom some money. Check, check. Check, check. He doesn't get adventurous in position. Flush draw for Dur on the turn. He's not going anywhere now. Phil bets 5,500. Dur calls. And Dur calls. Three of diamonds on the river. Phil's queen still best. He doesn't have Tom Dewan on an ace here. As such, the value bet of 8,000. Tom folds. Helmuth takes another pot and adds to his chip lead. Couldn't empty the clip. <laughs> if you emptied the clip and I called there, and beat you, that would have been so spectacular. I might have had to call just for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? We've alluded to the history between these two. Now here's a look at the critical moment that defines their rivalry. Durer is an incredibly talented young player. He's proven it. He's made millions of dollars playing online. But for all his you know, speed and talent, uh, you know, I got him to put all of his money in when he was a four and a half to an underdog. Come on. I call. I made what at the time I assumed was a very standard play. Now, knowing Helmut's game, it probably was a bad play, but I happen to get lucky and suck out. And it's a tennis game. You played the hand bad, that's the truth. We will play as many matches as you want. Do you admit it was a terrible play on your oh, part? Oh, it's standard. Learn to play standard heads up no play limit. With one at 53 blinds, 20,000. Learn to play heads up no limit. It was an overanalyzed situation that was very borderline. Just have it taken away like that. It does hurt. It does leave a sour taste. Whatever. It's one hand. We'll see if you're even around in five years. I'm going to start doing the one earbud look, too, Craig. <laughs> I mean, what is that, Secret Service or something? Who's he got on the horn? I tell you what, their pain is our gain, though. This is the matchup the poker world has been waiting to see. Phil with ace eight suited. Raise 16. Raises to 3,200. Durr also with ace eight. He calls. More often than not, these two will be chopping the pot. Deuce, queen, jack, rainbow. Generally speaking, when two players hold the same hand, the more aggressive man is the one who takes the pot. Durr bets 4,700, and Phil raises to 15,000. Wow, that's a new look, Phil Helmuth. You had your crystal ball working right there, Ali. Durr folds, Helmuth with another one. There's a long-awaited rematch at our featured table, but every face-off in the round of 16 features a formidable collection of talent. These recognizable faces are all just four wins from the title, but none can look past the task immediately at hand, the round of 16 at the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Scotty Wynn is a one-of-a-kind character in the poker world, but Daniel Negreanu has just successfully cloned him. Time to pencil in a change in your brackets. Scotty Wynn taking on Scotty Wynn in the round of 16. The Prince of Poker, baby. You can never go wrong when two Scotty are around. That's right, baby. Let's play some poker, baby. Give me a 
That, of course, is the original Scotty Wynn seated on the left with his impersonator, Daniel Negrano, on the right. What a character Daniel is. 